Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher, I'm from Vancouver, BC, and today I have the privilege to interview a very close friend of mine. His name is David St. Marston. How are you, Saint? I'm really good, Meher. Really good. Great to be on, uh, on, your, on your show as well. Thank you for being here. So he, you are the founder and international recruiter at Bailey's Jude. He, you strategically partner with companies globally from the most innovative creative agencies to the most well-known and recognized brands to help them recruit the best marketing and creative talent. Uh, so my first question for you is, during these pandemic times, we know that all of our emotions are up and down. Some days we are happy, some days we are sad, and mm -hmm. we are very uh, unclear and we don't know what to do. And now that the job seekers are out and they were laid off, how can they be calm during this time or what can they do to have kind of a positive impact in their lives or in their community? Well, firstly, a great opening question because, and it's such a loaded question here, because none of us, when we came into 2020, uh, knew anything that was going to happen the way it has. And I think one thing it has proven is we just can't control anything. You know, we can't control our personal situation because of the pandemic. We can't control the, the landscape in terms of the uh, economy. So therefore we got to try to bring it a little bit closer in terms of our, a bit of self-care, self-love, self-respect, because yes, I'm sure we all have people that we can lean on as our uh, friends and family and acquaintances, but sometimes, you know, when we're all in a very similar position, we have to really bring it closer to home. So in terms of staying calm, for, for me, one thing I've been saying to a lot of candidates, be it at junior to executive level, is what's the purpose? Mm -hmm. what's, what we got to identify first, despite the circumstances that you're currently in, what is your next step? Because this next step here could be the step where they decide to go, let me breathe, yeah. let me reflect, let me try to take the direction of my career, my life into something that's been more meaningful. Yes. Now again, it's never a great time to do that because ultimately we have to survive this crisis and that's the only way that we can do that is survival. But also let's, whilst we're looking for the next opportunity, let's also make sure that we are identifying our own North Star. So what, you know, let's write it down. Where am I at right now? Where do I see myself growing as an individual? What impact can I, do I want to make, number one? But number two, what impact can I make mm -hmm. on the people around me, be it my community, my family, or a wider, a wider audience? Yes. So to stay calm, we have to, we have, to have that self-reflection. Now, that's not for everyone, Mihir. And if we're not used to having that, that, that dialogue with ourselves, mm -hmm then panic mode sets in. For sure. And I, I think, you know, I've been guilty of that throughout this pandemic. Lots of people have been guilty to, 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 to just panic, to see, right, what, what can I do? How can I do it? And how quickly can I do it? Yeah. But sometimes by making those very quick judgment calls, mm -hmm. we then lose the focus on the here and now. Yes. So we have to look at what, what is our next step? How does that look like? So, and we're not talking weeks and weeks from here. We are talking about a very short time to literally pen, paper, a cup of coffee, yeah. sitting down and just, and just write. And it'll be really difficult at first. And I'm, you know, I love journaling and I've got journals come on, coming out of my ears and it will be difficult at first. Yes. But as soon as you start to write, as soon mm -hmm. as you start to document and dialogue how you want things to look, new ideas will spring up. Yeah, totally they agree. They really will. And it's okay not to be okay all the time. It's okay to be sad. It's okay. And talking to friends, I know that I reached out to you a few times when I was down and you make me calm. I was just talking to you and then everything was okay. Yeah, and, 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 that's, and that is the thing in terms of talking to other people. But I don't know about you. It, it's taken this crisis for me to open up to my closest friends. Yes. And I know, and I mean, really open up and, and I've, you know, through, through my blood, I feel that I'm a, a positive guy. 
you know, I, I enjoy life. You know, I don't do anything crazy. I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm not going to jump off a roof and hope that the parachute opens. But just in life for me, I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy life. But what this has proven is I've really had to dig deep in my emotions. I've had to open up to, you know, my partner who we've been together for many, many years now. And normally for me, I won't disclose to her how I feel because why would I want to put any other stress on her? But actually what this has taught me is we have to air our concerns, our challenges, because with the people that we love the most or our closest friend, friend groups, because if we don't, then we hold it in. And I'm sure, Mihir, you're talking to so many people now where the, the biggest challenge is around our mental health. Yes. And, and how do we start to elevate ourselves beyond yes. where we're at now in terms of our, our, our health? Yeah. Um, and when we've and when we've not been used to that, when we and there's so much great work that's done on all networks, LinkedIn especially, yes, around mental health in the workplace, around mental health culture, and I think it's amazing that we're all talking about it openly, and we should never be ashamed about talking about it. Yeah. But it's taken a crisis for it to be amplified that it's okay to talk about these situation. All right. Yeah. Um, it really is. I've got to excuse the background. We're starting to get a storm, so you're going to hear some raindrops uh, no worries, above my no head. Worries. No worries. Again, thank you for sharing those great tips, uh, Saint. And again, for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Saint a couple of questions and I'll post them on a daily basis. It will be like a journey on every day. You can check the, vi the videos. If you like them, like and share, leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you. So tune in tomorrow for another quick question with Saint.